Sega. The Space Marines of the Blood Ravens chapter were well entrenched in their castellum in North Vandia when they finally faced an all-out attack. Utterly unwilling to surrender or retreat any further, the Blood Ravens prepared a mighty defense against the coming assault. Among those defending the keep were Space Marines drawn from the chapter's hallowed first company. These were the hardened veterans of many crusades, each man ready and able to face down whole squads of enemy attackers. The Blood Ravens on the ground would be further bolstered by fresh troops arriving from the battle barge Litany of Fury in orbit around the planet. Only two factors made the Blood Ravens at all assailable in their stronghold. Most critically, the fortress was unable to receive reinforcements directly from orbit. Captain Thule thus had to establish a forward base to receive drop pods and landing craft. Although well defended, this base could be taken. Secondly, the Space Marines had established their base near ancient ruins which the Ravens claimed held relics of great importance to the chapter. Unwilling to desecrate the space by fortifying it, Thule opened the door to an enemy claiming the area and thus dealing a powerful blow to the normally unbreakable space marine morale. The Battle of North Vandia would be one of the bloodiest of the entire war. enemy is at our doorstep and thinks he can push us off this world. He is already gloating. He can taste his victory. But what he fails to see is that we will make this his last meal. The Chief Librarian has ordered the purge of this world to protect our chapter's secrets. Are we to retreat with our duty unfulfilled? Are we to let a black mark stain the banner of the Blood Ravens? I say that we will not. I say our enemies will regret the day they ever decided to face us in battle. Our battle barge orbits overhead and will rain the Emperor's holy fury upon our opponents. More of our brothers will come to join the fight. But as ever our enemy outnumbers us, each of you must be an army in your own right. Veterans of the First Company, the finest of the entire chapter, stand with us. Let their valor guide your fire into the enemy's heart. Remember that we are Blood Ravens, brothers. We have all sworn to protect fonts of hidden knowledge. Each one of us must fall before handing this word to the enemy. The Emperor is with us. The Unknown Primarch is with us. They have come for our blood, but they will drown in their own. Your green tide stops here, Orc. You will find only death here. I like that kind of talk, Yumi. I still got room on me stick for your head. And I have room for you under my boot, alien. Blood Ravens, attack! Blood Ravens, attack! Ha <laughs> ha! This is gonna be fun! You 
Use your pretty mouth for the nightmare. power of Gork and Mork. Ravens!
Guard off! Bring them the Emperor's wrath, brothers! Here we go!
Bloody mouthy one, ain't ya? More easy! I should invent some Orcs kind of machine that makes noise!
do it. We're under attack! with all the walking and mucking about. Still time to operate! Send me to the front! What? I want a testing front! Hold the tanks! Don't touch the tanks! We don't burn the tanks! Why is you giving me orders? Touch me again! No no I knew no today was gonna be special! Still time to operate! They shoot us! What? I wasn't listening! Touch me again, and I croak ya! What's in it for me? Why's you giving me orders? Who's that talking? Send me to the fight! We don't plan as a tank! This tank makes the loudest boom! Who's a tank ready for blowing? <laughs> this is what we like best! Yeah, yeah, what are we? Logs is better than smaller, runnier orcs. Use a pretty 
pretty mouthy one, ain't ya? Huh? I got just what you need! I wanna get stuck Can in with the boys! That? What? I wasn't listening. Sound stupid, but... Who do you okay. want me to cut? Who needs operate none? On my way? Yeah. Any not no 
destroy me! Fixed.
We'll do it. What? We'll do it. Yeah? What to smash? We're going, yeah? Send me to the Any fight! Any knight knows that! Who's that talking? This tank makes the loudest boom! Yes. Move the tank ready for blasting! The duck is in! On my way! Of yours! Prepare yourself. Your reckoning is at hand. Please, oh God! Dance, Dance! They shoot us. Still time to operate. We're we under attack. Send me to the fight. This tank makes the loudest boom.
That's it. Reese's gonna make it nice and strong.
Speed's operating up! Rubicine ready for blasting! Faster, faster! We're under attack!
Texas meant for fighting and winning. Hello? Who's there?
all that you touch, Orc. Even you like this thing so much, Yumi, you should have kept it safe instead of leaving it out here. Now it belongs to the Orcs! What's it? What's it? Time to build stuff. Please, no more kicking. Big is best. What's it? What's it? On our way. Oh, yes, my opponent. They shoot us! Be good. We'll get there. They shooting us. We're going. Send me to you the need fight. something fixed. No pain, no gain. Send me to the boys. This tank makes the loudest boom.
at the western gate. Hold fast, brothers! Lose a tank ready for blasting! your kind. You sure do like to hear my don't ya, Yumi? We'll fight the to the last man. And more. Oh, shut your mouth! You die already! We're under attack! Why are you giving me orders? I want to get stuck in with the boys.
and now it's gonna be more than a few orc assaults over its history, notably smashing the Great Horde on Tartarus. Perhaps because of this, the orcs under Warlord Gorguts approached the assault on North Vandia with a special glee. Here was their chance to prove themselves stronger than their race's greatest enemies. Victory in North Vandia cost Gorguts a huge number of his boys. But the Warlord was happy to pay the price. Gorguts himself mounted two helmeted Space Marine skulls on his gruesome boss pole, and his followers emulated him. Many knobs and other larger orcs who survived the battle mounted Blood Raven helmets on their weapons or wore them on slings as war trophies. In the years to come, the battered red helms of the Blood Ravens would remain the most prized trophy among Gorgut's orcs. For himself, the Warlord celebrated his victory by taking on the name Gorgut's Bloodspiller. 